Hello, fellow beekeepers. Do you remember my Flow Hive Super I purchased the four years ago? I think it's a four, four years. Uh, I didn't have much success with collecting honey using those Flow Hive frames uh, for different reasons, probably. Uh, and this year, suddenly my bees decided to collect some honey in it. Uh, maybe because first I put the flow hive on a datant size hive which is much bigger and probably the second I put the flow hive frames flow hive super earlier in the year probably in the beginning of June the flow hive frames were installed on this hive. And look at that. All seven frames are packed with honey. As you can see from edge, from the one end to another. It's filled with honey and probably capped as well. That was the big surprise. Because I made the Flow Hive Super uh, from the regular box, I just purchased the deep box and I made, I cut the windows and everything. At that time, I couldn't uh, do the side windows. As you can see, I don't have those openings on the side so you can open the side and it's a glass inside and you can see if the frames are capped. I came with the idea that how check the flow hive frames if they already capped. I purchased a very cheap Amazon camera. It's called Wi-Fi endoscope camera. It has the light on it. If you put it on, you can see it lights up. And it works very well in a very tiny spaces because it's long. I used it uh, during the winter time when I wasn't sure if my hives are alive. I just came here in the winter instead of knocking on the hive and listening to the side I just stick the camera in up to the frames and I saw my bees during the winter time and I thought well, because I cannot check if the side flow high frames are already capped, I will use this to check it. We'll see how it goes. I hope you can see it. Oh, wow. Well, that was my mistake to put the shim in. I didn't think about that. Oh yeah, I know why I did that. Because of this roof. It couldn't fit. Well, I have to do something about it first. So, in order to use this endoscope camera, you have to install an app on the phone and connect to this device using Wi-Fi because apparently this device has the Wi-Fi wi access point uh, built in. So you connect as a Wi-Fi device and then you have a connection on the phone. You can see uh, the picture on it. And you have a few options here. You can make a picture, you can start recording the movie, 
uh, and of course the settings etc etc so for me the most important part is I can look into it I don't have to record it but I'll try so maybe uh, right now it's recording and maybe if I can put it together together with this movie you can see it on the screen much better but I'll try to stick it in as you can see the camera goes inside and I see the bees of course they catching the honey that I scraped from the top but if we go deeper and deeper I see the cappings on the side capped the same thing here uh, I have already honey on on the lens I have to clean it <laughs> because of the honey on the lens there's no good quality right now I can stick this endoscope here it's too thick I can do it on the side no I don't see anything I have to clean the lens no that's much better Now when I stick the camera here you can see the bees and the frame well the frame is capped I don't have to remove it to check because using this camera I can tell that it's capped very nice so it works you can use it to go in the tight spaces you can use it to check inside I'll try to do it from the front because I have entrance to the hive over here There's a frame on the way, so I cannot stick it further above the bottom. Huh. Interesting. It looks like it doesn't bother bees. They just do what they do. Well, right now they're busy drinking that honey from the extra burkom I just scraped. But here it is, endoscope camera. If you have difficulties seeing the tight spaces in the hive, this is your device. Very cheap, Amazon, it's a lot of them. If I find a link, for this one, I'll post it under this movie. That's all for now. Take care. Bye-bye.